Okay, uh, welcome back to this uh, part uh, 4 of the demonstration. In this part 4 I want to demonstrate you the use of the app we have designed to be used in front of the camera. I am using a small um, camera which is easy to travel with and uh, I have my phone here and my phone is running an app that can give you a test pattern. So, and an audio signal at the same time. So if I hold this in front of the camera and I click the wild shot, ignore them. You can see here uh, I get a result that is ranging between say uh, uh, 150 to 170 milliseconds. Again you have to understand that the uh, signal I'm getting out on my phone here is completely unsynchronized with the capture system. So depending on the frame rate of the phone and uh, the uh, capture system you will have an aliasing that will cause you to jump uh, one or two frames maximum. In this case you can see the encoding is uh, 25 Hertz so that means one frame is 40 milliseconds wide. So you can actually expect a jump uh, of 40 milliseconds uh, and uh, depending on which frame it's landing in. But you can see the general delay is around 150 milliseconds. So I will say the timing in this case should be compensated to around 150, 160 milliseconds. So you can say in reality there's a four frame delay uh, four times the uh, 40 milliseconds from the signal coming out of the phone and to the capture uh, to the signal is captured on the uh, DKT7 uh, waveform monitor.